Why do we go through the struggle to be educated? Is it merely in order to pass some examinations and get a job? Or is it the function of education to prepare us while we're young to understand the whole process of life? Having a job and earning one's livelihood is necessary, but is that all? Surely life is not merely a job, an occupation. Life is something extraordinarily wide and profound. It is a great mystery, a vast realm in which we function as human beings. If we merely prepare ourselves to earn a livelihood, we shall miss the whole point of life. And to understand life is much more important than merely to prepare for examinations and become very proficient in mathematics, history, and physics. Throughout his lifetime, J. Krishnamurti has been deeply concerned with the problems of education. What is learning? Can parents actively participate in their children's education? What role does the teacher play? Can the very structure of man be radically changed through education? In March of 1978, Krishnamurti joined with a small group of concerned teachers and parents to discuss these vital issues and to discover if they, by working together, could bring about an entirely new dimension in the education of their children. It's a tremendous problem. It's not just a few words. It's an extraordinarily complex problem we are facing. Why should we educate not only ourselves, but also the children? What's the point of it? To grow up like ourselves and conforming to a pattern of society, which if one observes very closely, is quite immoral. So, I wonder why you want to educate your children. If you're not clear, how do you expect a school to give the children clarity? Suppose I have two couple of children, what kind of education do I want? And I mean it, right. not just I will leave it to them, I want this. I am passionate that my children shouldn't be destroyed by the rotten education that they have. Right? I want it. I, it is, I love them. I have a tremendous feeling for them. And I want them to grow up totally differently. So what shall I do? My children go to school. And what do they learn? What, do you, what, is, the, what is learning? Before I send my children to a school, yeah. I've asked Mr. Mark Lee, I said, my friend, what do you mean by learning? Not what is taught. Yeah. Not how you give information. Not whether there is attention and so on, all the rest of it. But before I start with that, I want to find out what he means by learning. To learn is memorizing, hmm? learning. No, but you do, do please go into it. Don't agree, or I'm not agreeing, or saying yes or no. I'm question is learning is uh, is learning merely memorizing. Which is what is advocated throughout the world. So that you end up with a skillfully, I mean, to earn a livelihood. So you are, <clears throat> your learning is becoming mechanical. You are using machines, <laughs> everything is becoming mechanical. Right? Your brain, your mind is becoming mechanical. Is that learning? I don't say it's not. I'm just asking you. That's part of learning. 
Right? Right, sir? That's a very small part of learning. Then what, are, what is learning then? Just learn a very small part? So I'm questioning, please just listen, I'm questioning whether knowledge, as we are taught in the schools, occupying a very small of the brain, which has become mechanical, learn facts, repeat facts, pass exams, uh, get a job, carry on, carry on, improve there, modify, change, but it's the same momentum, right? And that occupies a very, very, very small part of our brain, our mind. And I say to myself, is that all learning? You teach French, hmm? or geometry, or whatever it is, mathematics. You are giving me information, aren't you? And you say, learn from this. So he says, all right, sir, I'll memorize. Right? There's a book, mm -hmm. and say, look at the book, etc., etc., so you are memorizing. And so you are making his mind mechanical. Right? So I say, is that what you are doing, sir? This is what the whole world is doing, right? Not of school, Cambridge, Oxford, Harvard, right? All universities, all colleges, all schools are doing this. Conditioning them in special subjects, Right? Or conditioning them through what they call knowledge. You have now cultivated very, very, very small field, very small corner of a vast field. If it has its place, then what is the rest you are doing? We say knowledge has its place. Yeah. And you say, what is the rest of it? Yes. That is the rest of it. Showing what, is, place, what is the rest of it? Showing what place knowledge has. You have shown me the corner. What is the vast field? It is that seeing which shows what is the place of knowledge. Are you saying, just a minute, <coughs> because you have shown me and I have understood that this, that knowledge is a very small corner of the field, that very perception is the whole of this intelligence, which is, which is the vast field. Because I have seen the, co the knowledge as important and it is a very small part of the field, and the very seeing of it, has opened up the rest of the field. Is that it? So, we must be very clear when we say that the small, that we understand that knowledge occupies a very small part of this whole vast complex field. The very seeing of it opens up the complexity of the other. Is that what you say? Yes. Have you seen the complexity of the other? Or the beauty of the other? Or the enormity of the other? The grandeur, the majesty of the other? So I must be very clear on this. So I come back, if I may, if you have the patience, what is learning? Is learning the awareness of the vastness? Right? Awareness. Not learning about. The other is not about something. 
this, among, this, this requires a great deal of inquiry, meditation, penetration, insight, and all the rest of it. Let's leave it for the moment. Sir.